Hello, travelers! This vlog is the second part of my cheap accommodation in Malaysia, Hostel versus Airbnb. So, if you haven't watched the first part, the link is in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe! This cake right here is given by the host. It's called Kue. It's really good. You must try it. So, I'm gonna try it. Mmm. Bro. <laughs> I can finish this whole cake right now. I'm supposed to eat here in my bed. Mm. Oh, this is my room by the way. So I have my own toilet over there. And that is where the kitchen, living room, everything else. I have a really nice fan and really fancy diamond square -like light. And also, of course, there's an aircon. If you're in Singapore, if you're in Thailand, Vietnam, everywhere in Asia, you need to have an aircon. Why? Because it's so hot. It's quite hard to adjust after uh, traveling in a cold country. So this is the toilet. Nothing so much. And this door is actually a door going to the living room, which I told you. Same. But I can lock it so that no one can use it. I'm the only one using it. So, oh, okay. It's 2 p.m. by the way. This is the whole kitchen that I can use. And there is also a, what is that, a washing machine. There's no much things here you can see. And of course, when you want to eat. And I love this area. I'll show it to you. It's just all this designs. I love the painting as well. It's actually three squares there and it, you can see yourself. You don't have to stay in your room. Sorry, I'm still in my, you know, PJs or 90s. You can watch the TV. You have a really nice sofa over here. And by the way, this place is really crazy huge. I love all everything. And that's how it looks like outside. It's very beautiful. Everything here is like lock is digital, everything. Let's try. Oh, oh, oh okay. Now I know it. That's it. And supposedly I should be staying here for two weeks, but then again, suddenly things had changed, you know? So I have to redo the whole thing. I have to cancel four nights and I will only be staying for six days. So now it's already already my second day. The only reason why I got this place, to be honest, is because they have this discount. Like if you book more than a week, you'll get 20% off. Got the story short, they have a promo. And that's why I got this place. Hey guys, so basically today we are going to the mall. I'll show you how it looks like and how to get there from where I am right now in my Airbnb place. It's quite hard to travel around Chumar Baru or Malaysia in general because transportation wise, there's no much trains like metro or MRTs, LRT or buses. If there are buses, it's like point A to point B that's like um, how many hours away at least so you need to travel like really far then that's when you can get uh, your bus but here there's no tricycle or jeep like in the Philippines there's no there's only taxis so the best way to travel cheaply is to get a grab because they still have grab here an app or you can get my car and it's very cheap like from my place to the mall by car like uh, if you take a grab or taxi it should only cost five ringgit so that's like one to two Singapore dollars so let's go three minutes more and the driver will be here while waiting for the driver, here's the view outside of the house. Looks peaceful, huh? And finally, we are reaching Aeon Mall. Hey 
Hey guys, I've been having a problem since early in the morning because I can't withdraw any money and I have only one ringgit. And I'm not kidding you when I say I only have one ringgit. Like literally right now, this is the only money that I have. And I need to eat food. I don't have any snacks. I don't have anything with me. Like I have a place to stay, but I don't know why my card isn't working. They said that it's fine as long as you have master's card or visa. But I can't withdraw anything. So right now I'm like starving. What time is it right now? It's 2.39 p.m. And thank God I told one of the guys. Basically, I can, I can buy using my card, but I can't withdraw. So yeah, the struggle is real. I should have withdrawn more than the amount the first time I came here. But I'm a bit stressed out because I don't know how to feed myself. But overall, I think it's fine because it works by buying it. Just imagine if really it won't work. I don't know what to do anymore. Sorry for my negative vibes right now because I'm just really worried I can't eat. I'm glad I can use my debit card even though I can't withdraw money. So please always bring some cash with you. Hey guys, it's really surprising how expensive the wines here, like especially the ones that I saw in France for 5 euros or 6 euros. Here it's like more than that. It's almost like around 30 to 50 Singapore dollars. Now I'm missing France because the wine there is much much cheaper. What can I do? I mean, the taxes as well. If you're coming from a country that has cheaper wines, please bring some with you. It's expensive when you reach Southeast Asia. So this is how the grocery store looks like here. They have almost everything you need, except the cash withdrawal option. Well, I have a foreign bank, so maybe that's why? Okay, so walking around makes me hungry again. Please don't judge me. It's time to eat again. I'm finally home. Thank God. I bought already the food to survive for a couple of days here in Malaysia. And even if I can't withdraw money, at least, at least, I was able to use my debit card to pay for everything. So let's go in and take a rest, eat a little bit of food, and I guess do some vlogs there, like editing vlogs. So let's go in. healthy breakfast or brunch so it's my last day vacation in this really beautiful airbnb house the whole time it was only me in this beautiful rest house tomorrow i will be out from here and i will need to start working already overall experience if i compare hostel or airbnb if you are into a quiet just want to be alone away from vicinity everything then i would highly recommend airbnb because you own the whole place not necessarily like that as always but in my case, yes. There's no much things to see around here because I'm located on top of the hill. But it's good because it's a private property, so there's a lot of securities. But if you want to discover the city, on the other hand, if you want to see malls, like city life, then I would highly recommend hostel. Because most of the time, hostels are very convenient if you want to discover the city. I feel like I rented the whole house and I never felt so refreshed in all the stress I've been in the travel so far. Yes, unfortunately, traveling is quite stressful and that's why you need to kind of charge yourself. So far, with this house that I'm, or room that I'm actually renting, you need to be very clean because I'll show you the floor. It's really clean. So you see that? Barefoot because 
It's shining, shimmering, beautiful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that you can be updated to wherever I go. I need to do my vlog already. Bye!